Uh, my name's Cliff Carver, I live at 23 The Drive. Um, the new owners who have purchased this plot of land, the right, right of access, have basically mutilated trees. The 150 year old oak tree, which they've possibly killed off for the way they've cut it. See behind you was a bug farm where we put um, protected species in and it's been mutilated. People behind us, obviously they, they had vegetation, they had some sort of protection from us and we had, had from them and they've lost the, the trees as well. I mean, for the environment, why are we cutting down trees? We should be maintaining trees. This is it, this is also, it's the well-being. People come past here, they actually drive their cycle down here. Those were bikes for residents. And it, it's just it's just nice from uh, the lockdown experience that we're in. You know, you're coming out, you see some vegetation, for the plants. This all were blueberry, bluebells, sorry. You see they're all coming up. But obviously because they've been walked on and everything, they've just been trampled and the ground has been disturbed. I think it's an atrocity. I think uh, it, it's, it's disgusting. There was no consultation. Everybody, everybody would like to have known what's happened. We, we feel that people like this shouldn't be, it shouldn't be allowed. The commuter are actually disgusting. They, they are just disgusted. They, they cannot understand why the residents, the new owners have done this. I'm Adila Mir and I live in this street and we moved here because the developer makes beautiful landscapes and we were very lucky that we had this private lane behind us, unbeknown to us, owned by someone who had there were beautiful trees there, blossom trees, um, a six-year-old sycamore tree right here behind me and these houses that we live in have terraces so the view, the privacy was blocked from the houses that back onto this lane and from our lane so we all had beautiful privacy, beautiful wildlife, birds, everything and it's all been completely destroyed for no reason other than all my understanding is the people that have bought the land don't like trees um, and nobody can understand it it's completely ripped this community apart 37 houses along there us along here uh, for no reason we've had no birds since last Thursday they've completely gone um, you can hear some birds at the back but we have beautiful vegetation all around the back um, and it's a senseless act and I can't understand why something like this isn't a crime it makes no sense to me